Hello, folks. It's here, Scotty. Well, it looks like the ATF thought it was a good idea not to send Come a cease on. and desist letter to Twin Bros Limited Liability for their super safety device and opted for a full-out raid instead. This begs the question on why a letter was sent to Rare Breed Triggers and not to Twin Bros LLC. Could it be the owner of Rare Breed Triggers was an attorney? Things that make you go hum. Before we get into it, if you think the ATF uses selective judgment in their operations on the regular smash that like, share, and subscribe button for me, now let's get to it, shall we? In an early morning raid with 10 ATF attack vehicles rolling up like they have just found Owl Compone, twin bros were attacked with flashbangs and armed thugs looking for their pet wiener dog to unalive. Well, maybe not looking for the miniature wiener dog, but you can bet your sporting rifle that they wanted to unalive it anyway. There is limited information as to the outcome at this moment, but Twin Bros via X formerly Twitter put out this statement. It has been brought to our attention that the super safety are now deemed machine gun devices, poor ATF. The raid on Twin Bros limited liability was over the super safeties and not for the pepper jacks. We are no longer oh, allowed bloggers. to sell super safety kits. We are sorry about all of the unfulfilled orders and will be refunding everyone who placed orders on those items. We will keep you up to date on any information in regards to this situation as it becomes available. Thanks for stopping by and we hope to see you on our next video.